One of the next strategies that we talk about with measurement is when a line is in the middle of a ruler, or you can also call it a broken ruler strategy. In this case, you can see line C here and line D. They don't start at the zero on this ruler. This ruler actually starts at 12 and stops at 26. So we tell the kids to look at the start of your line, like D starts at 12 and it ends at 19. We want to start at 12 and count up to 19 to find out how many centimeters long that line would be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So line D would be 7 centimeters long. You come down and put that in the blank. Looking at line C, it starts at 16, it stops at 26. So we will start at 16 and count our way to 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Line C is 10 centimeters long. So we'd put the 10 there. Looking at C and D, line C and D are blank centimeters long. When we see that word and in there, that means they want us to add or combine the lengths. So we would add 10 and 7 to get 17. So line C and D are 17 centimeters long. Line C is blank centimeters longer, shorter than line D. So we look at C. C is 10. D is 7. Is 10 going to be longer or shorter? Well, it's going to be longer because it's a bigger number. Then we go back and we figure out what we're supposed to do. Once again, here's that word longer and that word shorter. So we're going to subtract. 10 minus 7 equals 3. So line C is 3 centimeters longer than line D. This is how to use the broken ruler strategy in measurement.